Okay, part four, covering decorating and final assembly. Uh, I will do a part five, uh, which will be a flight, so we can see the results of all the work. Fingers crossed, that goes well. So I've started uh, covering. I'm using uh, McGregor film. I'm using silver. This colour is called Carmine. It's basically a, a bright red. Um, and it's going OK. It's the first time I've used McGregor covering. Um, it's going around the curves OK. Um, one thing I've found is that um, when you cover it in the normal, in the standard way, really to cover the bottom, uh, then the sides and the top. So what I've been finding is that uh, when you turn the temperature up to 120 to finally seal and shrink the covering, you get a white line where it overlaps. And I think it's where the adhesive is just creeping out under the edge so it doesn't look very good at that point what I found then is if I take some methylated spirits and you can just wipe it away it's going to be fairly firm but it actually wipes away and then it's fine I was a bit concerned that that was going to be finished like that but actually you can get rid of it so I'm happy with that um, the, the back is going to be red so I'm just um, covering in the corners to make sure they're sealed and um, I'll carry on and uh, we'll have another look a bit later on so further progress at the rear end, I've completed the red, um, I've also now attached the uh, two elevators and the rudder, I've also pinned the hinges as suggested for the elevator and I've also painted inside the engine bay and also given it a coat of epoxy for fuel proofing. I've also made progress with the wing, I've covered the bottom. Um, I started off by putting corners just around this section here and then I did the sides and then did the top because there's curves going in both directions and it would have been very difficult to do on one piece. That worked fine. Then I covered um, the bottom. Now just waiting for some vinyl to arrive. I'm going to put some black stripes across the bottom when that arrives so I can get on and do that and then complete the top. Alright we've got the stripes on the on the side of the wing now. Uh, for this I used um, uh, vinyl, uh, this stuff here, uh, which I bought from a company on eBay called Elephant Supplies. The vinyl comes in all different colours. Um, it's a bit like solar trim although I think it's actually very slightly very slightly thicker but uh, yeah it does a good job. Also now I've got uh, my red on the top of the wing so we're almost finished covering. I've got the ailerons to do um, and then it's a bit of decorating just to finish off and then it'll be final assembly. Right there it is all finished covered and decorated and all assembled CG and all the uh, control throws are as per instructions. I'll just move it about a little bit so you can get a good look at it. You should be clear which way up it is just before it hits the ground. <laughs> um, the lettering and decorating I used a printable clear vinyl. So you print it with an ordinary inkjet printer, cut it out, apply it to the model and then I usually cover it in um, fuel prover just to protect the ink from the fuel. Um, I think that's pretty much it really. I'm going to make a video of uh, a flight so that will be then part five. Um, be good to see the results of all the work and how it goes. Um, so that's it for now. Um, so. I'll see you at the flying field.